we can start by creating a new decision. And I'm going to give it a name because I already know what we're going to build. So this will be the is adult decision. This uh, decision basically will create, um, uh, will uh, output a Boolean saying whether or not a person is an adult. So let's create the input node for a person and let's do the decision itself. So is adult. And right now you can see here at the bottom that we have three problems with this model. So first, the person input node is missing the its type. Same for the decision and the decision is also empty here. So let's uh, start by creating a type for this uh, person. Let's call it T person. And this is going to be a structure with one property that's going to be the age. Very simple. Good. So if we go back to the editor, we can now assign this type here, like you would normally do. The problem here is gone. So now it's just a matter of us saying that this is going to be a Boolean and let's give it an expression. So person.age greater than or equal to 18. This is good enough for this decision. And as always, we can test using the DMN runner. By the way, uh, we have specific key lives for DMN runner. So if you're not uh, familiar with it, please go ahead and watch it. It's very interesting. And you can see that I am connected to the key tooling extended services, which is basically the tool that powers the DMN runner. So let's quickly test it. Um, person age 12, not an adult, 20 adult. Okay, good enough for me. Now, uh, one of the most interesting things that we are uh, introducing in this new version is the capability of adding a set of files together. So those who are familiar with DMN know that you can add included models to a specific DMN decision and uh, import parts of the, the included model. So on this example today, I'm going to be importing data types. So we can start um, doing that. Let me close the runner and the problems tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this new button here to create a new decision. Great, so now we have some modifications to the screen with a label that says ephemeral here and untitled folder. That's because every time you're in a file and you decide to create a new one from this file you were in, this these two files together become a folder and they are logically related. So you can think it as like a local folder in your computer, but living here inside the tool. So let me give it a name, my folder will do. And let me change the decision name. So this one will be the can drink decision. Good. So, uh, let me just go back to the home screen really quickly for you to see what happened. First, uh, we got this uh, alert here saying that I have new changes that I didn't download. So this is just for uh, users to understand that everything is stored in the browser. So if they want to uh, persist it in their computer, they have to click the download and instantly you have the my folder zip downloaded so uh, you are sure you're not going to lose it everything to start here if you close the browser and you bring it back up it will be here but for example if you open an incognito window or another browser uh, your files won't be there so this is just an extra caution that we added uh, for people to understand it 